All right, so welcome to this uh, quarantined episode of Yankee Chatter, and on behalf of the Bigger and Bradder Sports Show, uh, today it's just me, Greg Andriano, and Brad McCormick up in New York. Tino Victuna is unable to join us at the moment, so we don't really have much to talk about today, other than, like, what's new, Brad? Yeah, yeah, it's... uh... Kind of depressing in sports world right now, um, but we're gonna we're gonna keep doing these videos. I'm gonna stay in my living room, and Greg's gonna go on vacation currently. Yeah, I'm flying over the Golden Gate Bridge right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, Big Tuna must be out doing my you know, his mafia calls or something. But um, <laughs> oh, all right, now you're I'm back. Home. I'm back. But uh, but uh, yeah, nothing really new. Just uh, staying in the house, staying safe, and um, yeah. just kind of waiting out. You know. Waiting for the updates to come every day and figure out when we can start this, uh, not only the sports world, but the real life world will up again, you know? Yeah. I mean, what are you, what are you and your family doing to stay safe, Brad? I mean, we try to get out of the house as much as possible, but when we do so, it's using our backyard or our neighborhood, go for walks. Uh, if we do it to go to the grocery store, it's just one of us, you know, the other one stays home with a, with a two year old and, uh, <clears throat> don't really have any visitors over the house. Just doing what we're supposed to do. I mean, I, I, it's kind of what we did before. <laughs> and anyways, I guess we're always uh, social distanced people. <laughs> but um, uh, now, uh, now there's a purpose behind it. So <laughs> yeah, yep. You know, so um, I mean, we're kind of doing the same thing. We've been, I've been working from home. Amanda works for Disney, so she is not working right now, and and it's just crazy with everything going on with that. Uh, and we stay home, we watch movies and TV shows and uh, try and exercise around the house. And sometimes we'll go out for walks, try to stay away from people. It's, it's crazy. It's a great time for, for if you're a streaming service. <laughs> I mean, all eyes are on you right now. Yeah. I saw HBO and um, CBS, Showtime, and I think there's another one. They're offering like 30-day free trials. Yeah. Or uh, HBO is offering, I think there's like nine or ten of their original shows that they're offering for free. You don't have to have a subscription. You just go and log in and watch it. And I wonder how many people are going to forget to cancel their free trial in <laughs> 30 days. <laughs> I'm thinking uh, reminders. Set, set if, yeah, I was gonna say, if you're, if you're not like me, which I set a reminder like the day before something expires and go in and cancel it, there's probably gonna be yeah. a lot of people that do. But, yeah, I bet and, you're gonna make a lot of money off that or, you know, with the way the times are being, they might even extend the free trial. Like uh, uh, right now, we're on a free trial of Zoom, right? So yeah, yep. We got the basic, uh, basic platform, which is nice. I mean, we can do a little bit here and there, and hopefully, we can get this up on YouTube. And you know, yeah. I was thinking about that. We've actually tried now, what four or <laughs> five different one of these uh, streaming services or video uh, services, and uh, mm -hmm. one of them will stick. Eventually. Yeah. <laughs> Eventually, right? I mean, the thing that would be nice is if we could stream this directly to YouTube. I know if you pay for it, which I think is like $20 a month or $25 a month, you can. But the free version, you have to save the video. You only get 40 minutes. But I guess if you're trying to just have a conversation with some people, yeah, 40 minutes is more than enough. And uh, I mean, this, is meant for, you, huh? this is meant for family and friends, you know, not for... Yeah. Yeah, which is nice. And I've been I've been seeing stuff like I I saw um, Syracuse basketball, the two thousand three national champ, two thousand four national championship team. Uh, yeah, Mello uh, and a couple other guys from the team and Coach Beheim, they all did a Zoom. There's like sixteen people on That's there. That's pretty cool. That was pretty cool. I've been seeing those pop up a lot lately, which is which is great. It's the best way to avoid going and meeting people in person and still having a Nice conversation with someone. I've watched a lot of bands do that. I mean, they yeah. don't want to. They don't actually perform through Zoom because the the internet lag. It just won't sound good. But uh, mm -hmm. uh, just having them all on the screen talking about uh, what they're doing right now and possibly come up with some new music and stuff. It's kind of it's kind of neat to check that stuff out. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, one of the things that uh, other things that I've been doing to pass the time is uh, I I have uh, MLB the show. Yeah, look so at I you. Got, I got my uh, I got my online subscription for the month. And uh, Ron, uh, our friend Ryan has it too, so I've been playing against him. And, uh, okay, so nice. through the show, you buy the game, 
I and mean, if you want to compete with friends, you, you have to buy an online subscription as yeah, well. Yeah, so uh, they have a 14-day free trial. And then I, I did the monthly one, which is $9.99 a month, 30 days. And you can renew it or you can upgrade to, I think there's a three-month, a six-month, and then a year. Okay. Um, but everything I've been doing on it so far has been worth every penny. And, and that's just on PlayStation right now, right? That's just on PlayStation right now. Next year, I believe the show will be available on Xbox and the Switch. So yeah. what, what would be nice, Brad, is if you could, if you had it, since you have an Xbox, I have a PlayStation, if we could still play against each other. Even yeah. I've heard they've been trying to do it for years now to figure out yeah. a way they can to do that. That'd be nice because all the guys I play softball with, they like to play Call of Duty and they all have Xbox. I'm the only person gotcha. that has PlayStation. And they asked me, well, why don't you just get an Xbox? And I was like, well, I, PlayStation. Why did you get a PlayStation? Because like, I want to play the only the good baseball game that <laughs> right. is out there. Right. I'm like, okay, yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, odds are I might eventually go like on eBay or something. Get, a, I guess, an older version of a PlayStation just so I can do both. I guess not like an older version, but like, I guess around Christmas time, the new, the new one comes out. I'll get the current models, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's how I will. Just, you know, one that's, model or two back. That's all right. I got I got mine on, I got mine with a ridiculous deal on Black Friday, so it's the only yeah. reason I have a put PS4. Otherwise I'd still be playing the show on my PS3, which playing online was free for. So uh, now do you put the headset on and uh trash talk? I don't have, no, I don't have a headset <laughs> yet. Uh, I just Ryan think if it's we've been trading proposal. wins. What's that? I just think if it's Vaughn and uh the breakup? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Playing against a little kid. Playing it's crazy. Kid, yeah. It's crazy because I've, I've played a couple games against some random people. Because uh, what you do is you play and you try to build your team. You, you, uh, you get like, um, you can you get coins and use the coins to buy cards. And the cards okay. are players and you can build your team and have a, so like I have a handful of Yankees on my team. And, but the more players you unlock, uh, you can get legend players. You can get players from like a couple of years ago. Uh, which is really cool. Um, but in order to do that, you have to kind of play against other people online, uh, which has been a very humbling experience, Brad. Oh, yeah. Um, Getting your butt whooped that, on there? What? Oh, I'm, I am. Um, so there's <laughs> this one game mode you play a three inning game. That's it, just three innings. Okay. I think uh, I've won one or two, but the, for the most part, I get my, I get my butt kicked. And um, one of them, <laughs> I, I lost a guy who was like a level 65 or 70, and I was like a level 10. And um, he beat me by like twelve. Wow! Yeah, are so you guys playing on the same difficulty level, or how does that work? No, no. Pretty much, okay. if if you have a stacked team and you're playing against a, a new guy, you're gonna wet the floor yeah. with them. So yeah, but then you get these like ridiculously poor sports. So I was playing. I was playing <laughs> yesterday, right? And this guy thought he would be clever. Like he finally got a base runner against me. Now I suck at hitting, so it was like nothing, nothing. The, almost the entire game. He finally gets a base runner against me and thinks, okay, well, I'm going to steal. So I wasn't paying attention. So he stole second and he stole third on me. And wow. I, I got out of the inning. So the next inning, he gets a couple more base runners on me. Right? And he thinks I'm not paying attention. So I, I pitch out and he steals and I throw him out. Right? <laughs> okay? So then two batters later, he gets a little bloop to center field and my center fielder, I think, was Brett Gardner. And he, I go and I have him dive. And the ball bounces off of him. Well, my right fielder is Aaron Judge. He comes over and he backs up the play. And the guy tries to go to second. Now, he's like not even halfway there. And I already started throwing the ball into second. And yep. he's out. I get him out. Yep. So you think, oh, well, I'm an idiot. Maybe I shouldn't try and take the extra base anymore. Nope, he quits. He just quit? He quits the game. <laughs> I'm like, come on, man. Wow. Uh, but I, I still get the win for that, so you know if you quit, you know, yeah, which is nice. But, but I, mean, I like to have beaten quits. him the, the the right way. It's it's cool. You get to create your own uniforms and logos, and they have pre made ones that you can use. And so, if you really All like right. get into it, you can really build your team. And yeah, and I've heard there's modes where you can uh, you start in like what like minor leagues, and you can keep yeah getting yep. promoted up to yeah. Big it's leagues. called um. It's called Road to the Show. You create your okay. own guy, make him look like you or, or not look like you. Put him at the position you want him to play at. Uh, you play in like a 
it's like a pre-draft setting. So you play like a three game series with all these yep. other guys that are going to be drafted. And then based on how you do, you can get drafted at a certain level or you can skip and wait a year and do it again. Uh, or you can just say, I want to be drafted by this team and then they'll draft you. So I picked the Yankees and I got drafted by the Yankees, but usually I'll make a guy and say, put me on a random team. Yeah. And then um, if it's a team I don't really care for, I'll, you can, you have an agent. So you can tell your agent, I want to be traded. And then eventually. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Then you work your way up to the major leagues. So I started one last last year. I started as a shortstop. I got moved to right field because I, I wasn't very good at making the throws to first. <laughs> what, it, what it does is you get the ball and then it like puts you in their, in their head and you have to like line the crosshairs up with first base and press a button where like the meter goes up to a certain level. You go too far, he overthrows it. If you go too low, he underthrows it. If you okay. miss aiming it, he'll throw it away. And so, it's so it takes a lot of practice. A lot, yeah, a lot going on at once. And hitting okay. is hard because you have a the pitch is coming in and you have a crosshair that you have to kind of like line up with the ball. Yeah. You have to do it all in like a split second, kind of like actual hitting. I guess you have to kind of guess what's coming. Yeah. So like the hit, real hitter. Yeah. For the longest time, I just left in the middle, and then like if it happened to be in the middle, I actually got a hit. But <laughs> me and Ryan, we can just swing at everything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter. So that game goes by pretty fast then, I guess. Yeah. Yep. Between yep. You and it's Ryan. usually pretty low scoring. But it's cool. You right, can well, you, yeah, it's it's worth it. It's worth it. If you're if you're on the fence, I would totally recommend it. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, and now it's what every baseball fan's talking about online, especially because mm -hmm. nothing else to talk about. So. Mm -hmm. Yep. So if you're if you're out there and you have MLB the Show twenty. Leave a comment. Maybe we'll play against you. Maybe I can play against you while I have my still have my uh, P PlayStation Network P Plus. I forget what it's called. Anyway, I want to know. Anyway, you you know, <laughs> I'm always up for getting my butt kicked. It's baseball. There you so go. So we we'll right against you. We'll get some coins and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there you go. <laughs> uh, anyway, now, do you get the coins whether you win or lose? Uh, yeah, you you get more if you win. And then, like sometimes right. you'll get you'll get a card of another or a pack. They'll get you a pack, and you open the pack and you get like four cards, and you can choose the ones you want to keep. And you can sell ones. Like if you get duplicates, you can sell them, get more coins. And you, there's equipment you can unlock. There's stadiums. Yeah. Um, there's all this different stuff. So it's it's pretty cool. And then there's like different there's tons of different game modes. So you can there's one where you play as the team that you've built, or there's like a quick one called Showdown where you can get coins really quickly and you draft a team and you play, it's like a tower. You remember like Mortal Kombat a long time yeah. ago where you work your way up the tower and the, 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 mm -hmm. the uh, moment, the tasks get harder, your opponent gets harder every time. Well, they'll put you in a situation, you know, say like, it's the first inning, get one runner on base. And if you get one runner on base, you unlock some coins and you move on to the next one. And then you get to an, an elimination one. If you pass it, you keep going. If you fail, then you have to start over. Okay. That's pretty cool. And you, you draft. They give you really good players to choose from for that. It's not like you use your own team. So you, you get like Yelich, Drudge. Uh, I won't name any Astros players, but some of those guys. All right. Now, speaking of that, speaking of Astros, I heard, I read, and I don't know if this is, I don't know if you read it or heard it too, but – if they don't play this year, or if they play only a handful of games this year, those that were suspended, like AJ Hinch, and um, was Cora suspended yet? No. No. Oh, yeah, that's right. They hadn't. But the but the, the Red Sox did fire him, I guess you could yeah. say. So. So anyone that was suspended this year, uh, that's it. They don't it doesn't carry over into next year. Yeah, I've heard that's what's going to be for us, like all the suspensions, which is. Kind except, of crazy. Except for Domingo Hermans. Yeah. Which I'm okay with. Yeah, he, he probably deserves to sit out for yeah. the, you don't, the you time. Don't mess around <laughs> with those domestic abuse punishments. But that's, uh, that's, that's interesting because – so Cora and Beltran, they got fired though, right? So they're not suspended. They're just well, – or did so, they get suspended and fired? Like, I, I don't understand. No, I don't Beltran know. didn't get suspended. He got fired. Cora – was fired, but I, I was I was assuming that when if MLB ever releases the Red Sox punishment, he would have had some sort of suspension tied to that. Hinch 
and the GM from the Astros. Yeah, Jeff they Neal. Were yeah. Suspended. Okay. So if they don't play this year, or if they only play like 50 games, you know, then they're only getting a 50 game suspension. They didn't really miss anything. From what I hear, though, I don't. It's not likely that anyone else in the major leagues would hire we'd hire them because because of what they did. I mean, you never know. Mm-hmm. It's not I mean, against the rules, but yeah. from what I they've been saying is that these suspensions are actually kind of career-ending suspensions, even though they're just for a season. You know, if if the boot fits, right? You don't want a right. guy in your in your system who I mean, there I'm sure there's information out there that they haven't released to the public that they're not sharing with us. Yeah. That they knew more about it than they let on to. So you don't want a guy like that in your organization if you're trying to play the game you know, on the level. I mean, especially with the uh, level of anger that came out from uh, a lot of the players, which I don't think MLB really anticipated. Um, I don't think you can bring a manager in to coach guys that don't like him. I just That just doesn't work. Yeah. So be, I don't really know where A.J. Hinch could go in, in the major leagues that would fit. Maybe he gets a minor league job, but mm-hmm. I don't see him in the major leagues uh, uh, next year. Yeah. Know? And no, not next year. Some time is going to have to pass. And, and there are, there, I, you know, it, it still boggles my mind that there are managers that were fired that were playing on the level that never got another job elsewhere. And, and yeah. one, the one guy that st- sticks out to me is, is Willie Randolph. Oh, he always stuck out to me, yeah. Yeah, but then there's guys like Gabe Kapler who aren't very good managers, continue to get jobs. He's the Giants manager now. It's just – I wonder if Willie Randolph doesn't – I wonder if he just doesn't try for jobs. You know what I mean? You never hear his job – you never hear his name in the mix for any jobs. Mm-hmm. So he might just not even have an agent anymore. Or, not, or is he – does he doesn't want to have a managing job mm-hmm. anymore? I mean, because he was he was good at it, right? So maybe, so maybe, maybe that is the case. Maybe he doesn't just doesn't want to be a manager anymore. Maybe he did it, and it's like, okay, I did it. I don't do it again. And he's a great manager. He just had the he just had the huge collapse in September, and then that was mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. But like you said, he's a better manager than some of these guys that have never really succeeded, and they're still getting jobs. Yep, yep. And and or maybe you know, Randolph's always been a New York guy. He played for the the, the Yankees, and I think yeah. he played for the Mets too. So maybe. Maybe the only teams he wants to manage for are the Yankees and the Mets. And the Mets fired him, so can't it really could be the case. With them. But, uh, I mean, that's why Bernie Williams never got another job when the Yankees didn't want him to work. He just didn't want to play anywhere else. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I, I heard almost or somewhere where he was very close to signing with the Red Sox that one year. He was a free agent. Who, oh, Bernie? Yeah. Oh, I, I didn't know that. You know, there was one season he was a free agent. The Yankees – Luckily, re-signed him, but he had, um, I think there was the, might have been um, 98 when the, the Diamondbacks and the Rays, the Devil Rays, were expansion teams. Were added, yeah. Yeah, so I think the Red Sox had offers out to him and the Diamondbacks, because Buck Showalter was the first right. manager for the Diamondbacks, um, and there was a lot of people that used to work in the Yankees oh. system that uh, followed him over there, so um, yep. I think Bernie was had offers from them too so it's just crazy i can't picture him in a different uniform no nope. from even as a manager with don Manley, i i still have a hard time picturing him or seeing him in, <laughs> in uh marlin's uniform and um used with the dodgers for a long time so yeah right you know, yeah it's just different seeing those legends in different different uniforms mm-hmm. maybe that's the list we can come up with for one of these shows is like the legends that you never like you never knew were on this team, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. like I was watching the 2000 uh, World Series. I think it was Game One between the Mets and the Yankees, and I didn't never knew Ken Seiko was on the Yankees that year. I got completely forgot. Like, I yeah. showed they showed him in the dugout with the uniform, getting ready to possibly pinch hit. I'm like, mm-hmm. Ken Seiko was on the 2000 team. I yep. had no idea he got a ring. I didn't know <laughs> that. You, I, I remember that. I remember that because um, that was right in. That was still in the middle of the steroid era, and uh, yeah, he was number 33. Uh, I I remember him hitting a home run to left field in like the upper deck, which no one ever does. Yeah. And uh, no, no, that'd be fun to do to to come up with a list of obscure Yankees, like your top. Well, your, your just top in general, roster. Just in general, like, did you know that this player ever played for this team at the end of his mm-hmm. career? You know? I mean, that would be cool too. We could do that too, because because I mean, 
Well, what I was getting at is you could do like a, a full lineup of Yankees of players that you don't remember were Yankees or like players from other teams, like yeah. hated players. Like Kevin Euclid was a Yankee for like yeah. a month. And then he hurt his back and he was out for the whole season. I remember I was really excited about him playing uh, third for the Yankees that, that year. I thought mm-hmm. maybe it could fit. And then, uh, yeah, I got hurt almost instantly and then he was gone. Yep. Uh, him, Ke- Kevin Brown was a Yankee. Uh, yeah. Johnson was a Yankee for a couple of years. Pudra, Ivan Rodriguez, yep. Ichiro. Got Ichiro. Just these uh, uh, guys that they brought at the end of the careers. I mean, going way back to even Daryl Strawberry and, mm-hmm. you know, Tim it's. Rains. Uh, Tim Raines, yeah, just it's just like uh, oh wow, I can't remember him ever playing for the team. <laughs> a lot of cool ones like that. Yeah, yep, yep. And you could probably do that for a bunch of other teams. And then we could make a list of players that you know spent their whole career with a team, like you were saying. And like, like imagine Mickey Mantle in a different uniform, or you know, yeah. I, would, I don't want to say Babe Ruth because he was a Red Sox before he was a Yankee. Like Ted played. Williams. Yeah, Ted Williams was a good example. Uh, Hank Aaron. You know, some of these guys did actually play for other teams. You don't realize it. Like I mean, Ted, was that famous that famous trade that never happened was what Ted Williams for Joey Maggio. Uh huh. That, that never happened. How crazy that would have been. Imagine that if if it was number nine for Ted Williams retired in Monument Park. Yeah. Instead of number five. Wow. Uh, I don't want to think about that. No. Thank you. <laughs> I wonder which fan base would have been more angry. Probably Boston <laughs> because. Boston already traded Big Root to the Yankees, so mm-hmm. they couldn't do that again. Yep. And I guess Ted Williams overall was a better player, right? He was. So. Yeah, I mean, he had the 400 season. And yeah. I think he had over 3,000 hits. DiMaggio didn't have 3,000 hits. No, he said the hit streak. And, you know, he also – I mean, they both lost time. That's a that's a crazy thing. They both lost time for a war, like to go to war. And yep. it's amazing what the career would have been if they hadn't done that. You know, that's what gets me – uh a little, um, I guess, a little annoyed when people say oh, these guys can't do the home run derby at the All Star break because it's going to affect their swing. Well, uh-huh. I mean, these guys went to war and they came back and their swing was just fine. He picked They're up right where he left off. He missed three years because he was in the military. Who's that? DiMaggio. He missed the 1943 okay. season, 1944 season, 1945 season because he served in World War II. And the year he came back, he was 31. And he hit 290 with 25 homers and 95 RBIs. So those are prime years, 20, 28, 29, or 30. 29, 30. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I mean, and, do, and how, do you know, can you look up how many hits he ended up with? That season? Or a career? Or, no, his first career. Uh, 2,214. All right. So when you add so three more years, I don't know. Three more years, and he, he had around. Like his average was probably around 175 hits. So if you, so you would have gotten to 3,000, you would have been close. You would have been close. He would have probably had like 2,800, 2,900, which may have. I mean, he retired at 36. He may have played another extra a year or two. If that was important to him, I mean, that's yeah. Because generally, had, the guys that get to 3,000 nowadays play till mm-hmm. they're in their 40s. Mm-hmm. I mean, and he had he had 361 home runs. So add another. I don't know, what, 75? You could say yeah. he had – I mean, he hit around – his lowest total was in his last season he hit 12. But for everything else, he hit around 30 home runs. So you could you could say maybe he hits 25. So, yeah, 75 extra. That puts him at, you know, 400. Like it's, yeah. It's still, which, I mean, maybe he stays and plays a little longer. I mean, maybe maybe being in the military – let, allowed him to play at age 36. We don't know. Yeah, I guess you, it, could, it, go, it could go either way, like you said. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe yeah, if he I mean, doesn't date Marilyn Monroe, it adds three years to his life. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we could just look at Ted Williams real quick. He missed three years for serving in the military. And that he's younger than Joe DiMaggio. So he missed his 20 year, 24, 25, and 26 seasons those are prime years yeah and so the season he the season before he went the 1942 season he hit 356 with 36 home runs and 137 rbis the year he came back 1946 he hit 342 
38 home runs and 123 RBIs. So they, these guys didn't miss a beat. And yeah, he played until he was 41. So he had his hits. He had two thousand. He would have easily had 3,000 hits. He finished his career with 2,654 hits. And I heard an all the truth is this, but someone I heard once say that they actually did a version of the shift against him, but he was another one that was too stubborn to change his hitting to go around the shift. He was stubborn, saying, "I'm gonna, I'm still gonna get hit even if they do shift against me." So I guess that. Took away some of his hits as well. Mm -hmm. And he had a career batting I mean, average. Like, sure I mean, that's ridiculous. He's, even with that, he still had a career batting average of 344. That's <laughs> it's insane. Just, it's unbelievable. That's insane. So um, I know we don't have much time left. We have four minutes left on our timer here. Time goes by quick, Brad. Well, I mean, I'm talking about good stuff here. So yeah, we are. And, and, you know, one of the things I sent you, my cousin, and Ryan during the week was that. Um, I guess Yahoo did like the greatest teams of all time. Okay. And uh, the final four were, let's see if I can find it real quick. Or we run out of time. Sorry. Um, the final four were, it was the 1927 Yankees against the 1970 Orioles and the 1984 Tigers against the 1975 Reds. Okay. I mean, obviously, we weren't around to see those teams, but... <laughs> no. So, the only reason... I mean, the 1975 Reds in the round before defeated the 1998 Yankees. Big Red... Is that the Big Red Machine years? That was the Big Red... That was the... I think the last... <gasps> Joe Morgan, all those guys. Mm -hmm. So, I was look, I was doing some homework, and I even did, like, a poll on Twitter to see if people would respond. Not yeah. Did. You know, not popular. But... Um, <laughs> uh just to see who was better the 1975 who people thought were better 75 yankees yeah. or reds versus 1998 yankees and i'm assuming mo the majority of the votes were from yankee fans so they picked the, the yankees, yankees. And i was looking at the stats see the 1998 yankees won 125 games the whole season they won the world series and yep. um and uh they scored like 150 more runs than, than this reds team did same number of games uh they had, their pitchers were a little bit better, but not much. Uh, their their bull, the Yankees bullpen was better, and the uh, overall offense, the Yankees offense was better. Uh, Joe Morgan had a ridiculous eleven WAR. Which I've wow, never, I've never seen any double digit WAR before. So that's that was impressive. I was kind of blown away. But they had Johnny Bench. They had uh, yep. Rose. They had a number of these guys. Uh, so it is good teams. I would love if there was a time machine. You could play the 1998 <laughs> Yankees against the 1975 Reds in like a World Series and see who takes the cake. Cause yeah, cause a lot of the uh, the critics, not criticisms, but uh, the stigma around the 98 Yankees is that they got out of the wins against the Rays to our expansion team. Mm -hmm. so they added, I don't know, 15, 16 wins right there. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sure there's advantages in every decade you can go through. You know, it's just tough to compare different time eras yeah and that's why it would be amazing to see them i would love to see uh who was on that team who was uh, david wells and david Cohn, who i think both won 18 to 20 games that year yeah face joe morgan and johnny bench and uh who are their pitchers do you know anything about the 75 reds pitchers you know, i had it i had it looked up and we only have like a, a minute left here hopefully before zoom doesn't cut us off Cincinnati Reds. Oh, we can always go over next next show. Yeah. So they went 108 and 54. They won the World Series. They beat the Red Sox in, in seven games. And their manager was Sparky Anderson. They had Johnny Bench, Tony Perez, Joe Morgan, Dave Concepcion, Pete Rose, George Foster, Cesar Geronimo, and Ken Griffey, senior. Yeah. Uh, their pitchers were Gary Nolan, Jack Billingham, Fred Norman, Don Gullett. Pat Darcy and Clay Kirby. They had a six man. Did they have a six man rotation? I mean, they all had more than 10 wins. Maybe someone got hurt at some point. Maybe Don Gullett won 15, went 15 and four, had a 2.42 ERA. So nobody had more than 15 wins, but the team as a whole had a 3.37 ERA. 
Okay. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't remember anyone ever talking about that team's pitchers. That's why I asked. Mm-hmm. But they had great offense, even though you said the 98 used to score a lot more runs. Yeah. The, uh, 75, the offense is pretty impressive. It's still impressive. The, uh, 90, the 75 Reds hit, only hit 124 home runs, and they scored 278. I'm sorry, that's doubles. Uh, 840 runs. I think the 1998 Yankees scored not, almost 1,000 runs. Okay. We'll look it up real quick. And then we can wrap it up. I know Tino had a couple things to say. Yeah, right. while you're wrapping, you're looking that up. I'll just say, uh, on behalf of Bigger and Better Sports Show, we're at almost 2,000 subscribers. I, he uh, so he said that, and uh, behalf of Big Tuna, he said that right now, if we get 2,000 s- subscribers by July 30th. We do do three giveaway contests. Uh, I think we're almost to two thousand. So I think that's a reality. So like and subscribe to Bigger and Better Sports Show, and we should also do something where you have to like that. Well, that any chatter to be uh, eligible for for the prize. I think that'd be awesome. And then uh, we're gonna have some pretty cool prizes. We're gonna put some money into these. So it's not hat giveaways, I guess. But uh, I think everyone will enjoy it. Yeah, it could be. So yes, yeah, spread like, the word. Like them, like Yankee Chatter. Show us all some love. We're all we're all a team here, and we're all trying to get through this uh, COVID nineteen thing together here. So um, that's a great opportunity and a great great pot potential there, Brad. So that's exciting. Hopefully, you guys all get right. to two thousand real soon. Uh, and before we wrap up, I just want to say the Yankees ninety eight scored nine hundred fifty six runs and hit two hundred and seven home runs as a team. Okay. So they they were by far the more offensive, more, yeah, leading team. So, but uh, okay. again, different different eras. So it would, right, it it's, it's really, tough to Yeah, it would have been really cool to see those two teams face off. Well, maybe you can do that in the show. Maybe <laughs> we'll see see if we can get that together. See at the game. But um, before Zoom cuts us off, just wanted to say everybody, thank you for tuning in. Uh, I'm Greg Andriano with Yankee Chatter. You can find me on Twitter at GregAndreno05. Like, subscribe, check out our, our good friends up north, uh, Bigger and Bradder Sports Show. I'm that, uh, Brad, who participates on Yankee Chatter as well. Uh, you can find him on Twitter. You can find all of us on all the socials. We're on um, audio podcasts on iTunes, uh, Google Play, Spotify. Um, good stuff. Check us out. Like us. Subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell your family. We're all the... We're all, uh, Big sports fans here, so tune in. Yep. Thanks for watching. Uh, big tune Hopefully, we'll be back next week. And we're getting ready for our big uh, draft day uh, show at the end of April. Hopefully, that still goes on. We can still do that. But we'll keep you guys informed. So tune in, uh, tune in every week to figure out what we're doing. Cool. All right. Thanks, Brad. Thanks, guys. We'll see you soon. Stay safe, healthy. Exactly. Stay rational, though. Don't be, yep. don't be freaking yep. Social distancing is your friend. <laughs> All right. All right. We'll talk to you soon. You got it.